I'm having fun. Is it called I've been moved? And um, uh, yeah, it's things that move my spirit, looking up at the night sky and just having that eternity around you when you're out in the bush and that. Uh, things that move my spirit, not my bowels. Oh, when a close friend has died, a 
turned away in pride As they lay him down, shoveled in the dust Over in England, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I took us over to London. Me and uh, Roger Knox, your rubber band, and you know, Titties and uh, Archie Roach and Ruby and all that. And we landed in this place where Granny Lizzie lives. She lives in Buckingham Palace with Chuck and Camilla and um, you know, all the rest of them that ride horses and pack corgi dogs and that. And we're staying in this place called Montague Street, Bloomsbury. And uh, those bed and breakfasts over there, little places, mate, they, they rip in you, eh? You get corns on your bloody elbow trying to turn around, they small, you know, really tiny. And I'm up on the second story looking out on the road every morning, nine o'clock, eh? A big flash Rolls Royce. He pulls up over the road, you see? <laughs> yeah, and a fellow with a cap on, he gets out and he opens the door up and out. This fellow gets with a big, nice uh, waistcoat on and that, and he went into this house, nine o'clock every morning. Anyway, they took us for a little tour uh, in a minibus and we went along the Thames where all the big warehouses were all being closed and they're going to redevelop it all. And they got guards with uh, dogs and chain wire to keep all the, the poor people out. But anyway, we played at this South Bank and to get to the South Bank we had to come across uh, this uh, bridge across the creek. From, yeah, it's a creek. <laughs> Of course, of course, from Parliament House, Westminster Democracy there, yeah, yeah, big, big Ben. But underneath the big roundabout when we went around, the bus driver told me there was a heap of homeless people lived there. They called it Cardboard City. So I played and anyway, down we went. I, I went down with, with a few of our mob and got talking to these people and they had these great big cardboard boxes that they got off the big stores. They should camp in them with a, with a you know, a, a doona or, or a sleeping bag and that. And, you know, new country, open a conversation. I just said to him, well, how are you going and that? Yeah. Um, where do you get your box from? Yeah. And then they said, oh, we get it off the big stores. Uh, they charge us 50 pence. And I thought, holy bloody hell, 50 pence for a bloody empty cardboard box. And I was watching this fella in this big Rolls Royce over the road, buddy. <laughs> Getting out. Oh, just, just down a fraction. This is a bit of a bash one. In fact, there was a group here in uh, Sydney did a cover of this. They were sort of a, what would you call them, Andy? Remember Research? Yeah. Sort of like German punk. German punk, they did a version of this song. And um, of course, uh, Steve Kilby from the church did a version too. But anyway, I, I got to thinking about this business. It was just Rolls Royce and his bloody cardboard boxes and Granny Lizzie in the big Buckingham Palace. This is just called Images of London. Your fee, your death, your free to live in poverty. 
liberty and a democracy under a monarchy. Black stretch limo chauffeured by a man in a cap, driving through the beggars with a packer, rats in the back, nursing corgis that keep crapping in your lap, saying snap back jack. Images of London is illusions. Images of London. Images of London. <laughs> About the only place we felt at home there in that place called London was down at Brixton. We took the tube down there, there's a heap of Caribbean backbones down there. And Lots of music and a bit of a concept in community. Cut loose from this unreal fiction that involved the reality on the streets of Brixton. Away from that parliamentary power, meet that Big Ben clock. See it from Cardboard City, if you own a cardboard box. Snap back, Jack. Attack, attack, Jack. Snap him back, Jack. Attack. Images of London is a loser. Images of London. Images of London. It seems that we're, we're forever playing, painting placards up and flaming, trying to change things. But we do have to, uh, in my, just my humble opinion, we got to reclaim democracy, my friends. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, it's been hijacked by the, you know, global corporations and the banks and the stock exchanges around the place. We're the little people that's waiting for the bits to fall off the table, as per usual. We've got to change the whole set of, you know, democracy, all that flaming lobbyists and all that business. Yeah, we, we need people power. I know, and this is the way things do change. This is a song that Paul Kelly and I wrote. This will be the last one. And th thanks for putting up with my terrible guitar playing and voice and everything. It's been a bit of a battle here today. I won't tell you why, but... <coughs> you fellas can sing this too, you know, because it's become our song. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not Paul or mine's song, it's every bugger's song. And all you young mob out there, uh, I'm giving up playing virtually, so... You take all the old songs like what I did and turn it into hip-hop and rap. Like, take a few words out of what I did and put your own to it so it makes sense to your generation. That's the oral tradition we've had for 60,000 years. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah. No one old fellas like me. Yeah, yeah, my word. It, it's, it's, we take it on for the next generation. I'm... I'm I'm Neolithic. I'm, I'm back there, you know, with the oil lamps and that, you know, eating the kangaroo. That'd be good, eh? <laughs> yeah. Now, you fellas can sing this too, eh? Because it just shows if uh, people understand what's happening. You know, indigenous and non indigenous, First Nations and non nations. I better not play it that fast. That's Paul Kelly's. He, he, play, he rock and roll, is he? He play that fast, okay. Well, gather round, people. I'll tell you a story. Any long story. Of power and pride. About British Lord Vesti. And Vincent Mingiati. The opposite men. On opposite sides. Bestie was fat, full of money and muscle. Beef was his business, broad was his door. Vincent was mean, spoke very little. He had no bank balance, hard dirt was his floor. From in things, big things grow. From in things, big things grow. But nothing but ration, where one sand gathered, the wealth of the land, daily the oppression, 
got tighter and tighter. Grinji decided they must make a stand. Well, they picked up their swags, started off walking. And that Waddy Creek there, they sat themselves down. Now it don't sound like much, but it sure got tongues talking. Back at the homestead, then in the town. Man said, I'll double your wages. Seven quid a week now. You have in your hand. Well, Vincent said, Ah, uh -uh. we're talking about wages. We're sitting right here to win our land. Well, Festy Man rolled. Festy Man thundered. You don't stand a chance of a cinder in snow. Vincent, we fall. Others are rising. Thank you. 